Hi guys, wanted to show you what's going on in our little urban micro farm. So as you can see, I've got a, a section behind us. We've got the hoop house here, and then we have a couple beds outside the hoop house. And I'm just gonna take you around and walk you through each one and show you what's going on. As you can see here, we've got the crops under covers. We had a couple different plantings of arugula in the field. And as you can see, this older planting was pretty much killed by the cold. Now, if we'll swing down here, these two plantings, which were planted a couple weeks later and were just younger, actually did much better. Um, this, we could actually be harvesting this right now. And this is that wasabi arugula from Johnny's, which actually, it bolted pretty fast on me, which they said it would. You can see there the bolting but it actually did quite well and survived zero degrees under row cover. So we're pretty happy with that. A couple that. different beds of spinach here. We've got, I believe this is space over here and then some red kitten over in that bed. Um, you'll see here some damage from the cold and normally spinach won't get damaged by the cold, but what happened is the row cover sat on top of the spinach and rubbed on it. And that's what's causing these abrasions on the leaves. So usually spins will take pretty much any temperature. And if you see where the row cover was kept up by the hoops, it's a hoop right here that kept that row cover up, the spinach is not damaged. Had a couple plantings of lettuce out here in this bed here. And as you can see, it actually survived rather well. Um, this variety over here did lose some. You can see some black dead between the leaves. The regrowth looks quite nicely though nice though and further down you'll see here we have mosh now mosh is one of my favorite winter greens because it's super hardy the yield is pretty poor though as you can see this bed was planted the same time and has already been harvested once and this is only about half size so we'll get this get significantly bigger you know completely dry so this is about the size i like to harvest mosh you can see how the size of those plants are there looking pretty good Again, we've already harvested some from this bed, but we did have poor germination just because it was seeded a little bit earlier in the year. And then this is Upland Cress, which is again, one of those more bulletproof greens. Been very happy with the growth, pretty thick, heavy duty. And again, survived zero degrees under just two layers of row cover. Here's some Salanovas. Now I wanted to point out that most of these just completely died. This one, you know, completely dropped and died right here. This one did as well. You can see how that just is just died. But we did have one survive, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, we'll see if this actually comes back in the spring, but for us, Salanova in the field especially, is just a one-time cut or a couple-time cut in the fall, and it's not going to overwinter. And you can see the spins there did quite well. Here's a little bit of kale. That survived quite well. And then here are overwintered onions. Now, these are forum onion sets, which we went ahead and just planted, oh, I believe sometime in December. And here's a couple other little sections of them. We didn't get them quite as deep as we would have liked, and so you can see them starting to pop out, but I still think they'll do rather well. We may end up top dressing the bed with an inch of compost to kind of set them a little bit easier and prevent weeds, but they will probably start producing nice size three or four inch bulbs by sometime April, early May. And then this. So here's the hoop house, and as you can see, a couple different beds of greens. On the far left, we've got a bed of spinach, then a bed of lettuce, and some Asian greens and kale. And then on this side, just another planting of, of later planting of greens. So, um, so let's just walk right down. I'll show you different ones and what's going on. So this first right here is some endive, and as you can see, it's not doing especially well. Um, the, the bigger area out here got eaten by a rabbit. And so this was the only little place that didn't get completely, you know, knocked to the ground. So that's actually looking a little bit decent there. We like that because it's a little bit heavier leaf. It's a thicker, heavier leaf. Then we got some crests. Now this is more of a Persian crest type, not as hardy as the outdoor crests. And I don't like the growth pattern as well, just not as thick and heavy duty. Um, this is another section of the Persian cress. Now, this right here is Tokyo Bacana. This is one of my favorite winter greens. We like to, we sell it as Asian lettuce, and it does quite well, produces quite well in the wintertime. 
Here's some peas. We were just playing around with um, planting a few peas in the tunnel for greens. And they did all right. We had some disease move in. So not super happy with that. These are those garnish peas from Johnny's. And then just some other greens down here. Here's a little section of arugula at the end. Um, this next bed is a bunch of different mustards. And these are the lettuce -y mustards from Frank Morton's breeding program out at Wild Garden Seeds. I always really love those. They do a really nice, thick, heavy, and they're actually really sweet. They're not really spicy at all. Um, here's a section of arugula. Had some disease move in, so not doing super hot. And um, some kale. Let's move over here to the next bed. This is a bed of lettuce. And again, we had some disease moving in on some different sections of the bed. I believe this was because of some of the cold and then the disease was able to attack it a little bit easier just because of the, the deep cold we were experiencing a couple weeks ago. Um, this is only a 15 foot hoop house with just one layer of row cover inside. So um, this variety of lettuce here, which I believe is Gavata from Johnny's, I'll have to double check the spelling, but actually did quite well. As you can see, it's heavy and there's a lot of lettuce there. Um, if we jump down to this end, we've got some more darker red lettuce, and then we've got some cilantro. So this was planted the same time as the lettuce. Um, will be a light, lighter yield in the winter, but my wife loves guacamole, so we do plant some cilantro still for her. And here's some parsley. So these were plants we actually had all summer in the hoop house, and we'll probably be able to harvest another couple weeks on them before they start to really bolt on us. So you can see right here, it's actually starting to put out some, um, some stalks right there, They're just getting a little bit taller. And then this is just spinach. A couple of different varieties here. And at this end, we've got some red kitten. Um, I believe we're having a little bit more of the yellowing. We had, I forgot the water for a couple of weeks. I'm actually used to farming upstate New York where we only water once in the fall and then usually again starting again in February. So uh, kind of got away from me. We were gone for a little bit and weren't staying on top of it. But there you go. All right, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Again, comment, share, let other people know about this and uh, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>